All right, so this is the alternate assignment that you only have to do if you're one of the five people not taking the AP exam this year. So if you are planning to take the AP exam, don't do this unless you want to for extra practice, but you don't need to. All right, so here's what's up. We're going to write code that makes a 4 by 5 2D array of ints that's filled with these numbers. You could do it all with an array initializer, but that's kind of a pain. So I'm going to just say int 2D array ARR equals new int 4, 5. And now I'm going to do a for loop for rows. int r equals 0, r less than 4, r plus plus, Oops. plus plus. C equal zero, C less than five, C plus plus. Okay, I realize I need to make a, uh, a, a variable that we'll use to keep track of what number should go in the cell, and that's going to be val. And then right here, what we'll do is we'll say the array cell R C should be equal to val and then val we're going to add one to val so that'll put a one in and then a two and a three and a four and a five and then the next row so on and let's um let's verify this by calling a method that we're about to write called print array we're going to send over r the array called r r and right here we're going to say public static void print array. This accepts a 2D array called, it can be called R again, that's fine. It's a different one down here. And in here, we need two for loops in R equals zero, R less than R dot length. Here we're gonna use R dot length, that way it's not tied to the size of the array up here. It's, it'll print any 2D array of ints, um, R++, plus plus, and int C equals zero, C less than, and here we get the first row of the array and get the length of that. That's how many columns there are. And here we say system.out.print, we're going to do R C plus, and I'm going to do a tab, All right? And then after the inner for loop, we're going to do system .println. That'll go to a new line after each row. And if I didn't make a mistake, we're done. If I made a mistake, we're not done. But there you go. Um, and this is what I meant, I mean, technically, sure. There, now. Now it's exactly what's printed. And I'll make sure it's right in the starter file. Wasn't trying to be difficult there. All right. Good luck.